Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little uh, Monster Bass Regional Box versus Mystery Tackle Box Elite for January 2021. Uh, this is going to be the second in the series that I've done on this. Uh, it's going to be a little more uh, in-depth uh, or a lot more in depth than my just regular unboxings. We'll get the baits out, compare them, uh, give my opinion on whether I think uh, the baits, how good they are. And uh, the biggest thing that I want to compare is also is uh, which box do I feel you get the uh, best value from. And uh, also uh, the dates that I received the boxes. So uh, let's just dive right into it, guys. Okay guys, we'll just get right on into it. What I plan on doing is basically kind of like I did last time. I'm gonna go over the baits. I'll start off with uh, Monster Bass, go over uh, the baits that was in the December box, prices, talk a little bit about the baits, and then we'll go over the uh, Mystery Tackle Box uh, Elite baits, and then we'll compare, see which one was the better uh, bang for your buck, and uh, so we'll just go ahead and get started with Monster Bass. The uh, first bait was the Catch Outdoors uh, Saber Frog. And this is uh, actually a decent frog. I will definitely uh, get some use out of it. It retails for uh, $7.50. And actually, uh, I checked Cat catch outdoors their website and it's actually almost 50 cents more from their website so that's uh it's 7.99 from uh, catch outdoors uh, website the uh, second bait was the lunker hunt jolt 8 elf flat sided crankbait again this is a i really love uh crankbaits. I'll definitely uh, get some use out of this one. This is a real good looking crankbait. It retails for $5.50 and uh, I checked it out at Tackle Warehouse and uh, that's what you can get one for at uh, Tackle Warehouse. Next we have the Vicious Fishing Herky Jerky. I'm not real big on uh, jerk baits, and I think uh, this year it's something that I'm going to try to uh, make myself start using more. But uh, this is a, uh, I really love the color on this bait. Definitely, I think that will be a fish catcher. And it retails for $8. And uh, it's not on their website yet, so I'm just going to go with the retail price on this of $8. Next, we have the uh, Bass Hick Hellboy. Interesting bait. Again, I'm sure this is going to be a fish catcher. It retails for uh, $9. And uh, I just used the retail price on it. I couldn't find it online anywhere. But uh, it's uh, looks like a solid bait. Anxious to try it out. Next, we have the Rabid Baits Foxtail, and I am extremely 
anxious to try these out on an Ed rig. I'm going to say that's going to be a killer Ned rig bait. Very, very happy with uh, getting that in the box. And it retails for uh, $6, and that's what it was at rabidbaits.com, uh, their website, uh, $6. Next, we have the Big Bite Baits BFE, best flipper ever. Never used these before, but I really like Big Bop Baits, uh, their brand. And uh, again, that's a, a solid bait. I'll probably wind up using this one on a swinging uh, jig head. And uh, it retails for $4, and uh, I checked Tackle Warehouse, and uh, that's what they are at a uh, Tackle Warehouse. Next, we have uh, Excite Baits, Stick Baits. Basically, their version of a Senko. And uh, on the package, this one says High Floater. So I'm assuming this one's got a lot less uh, salt content than a regular Gary Yamamoto uh, Senko. But again, I love these, definitely. Texas rig it, wacky rig it, that's definitely going to be uh, a fish catcher. And it retails for $5.25. And uh, I checked Excite Bait's website. These aren't on there yet. Because uh, basically all these baits uh, are supposed to be new. So we'll go with the retail on that, $5.25. And last but not least, we have the Super K Jigs Ned, head, Ned Heads, which these were going to pair perfectly with the uh, Rabid Baits uh, Foxtail. And it's a good looking little Ned Head. They retail for $4, and uh, I actually checked uh, Super K Jigs website. And uh, they actually have these for $2.29. So that's a dollar and 71 cents difference between what Monster Bass and what you could actually get these for. So that brings the grand total. And again, I'll have this list, uh, I'll have it up on the screen so you can uh, check all of this out. But that brings the Monster Bass total box value to $49.25. And I paid $34.95 for the box. So that's basically my return on investment is $14.30 is uh, what it is to me to the good. So that's... All in all, and the baits uh, this month, uh, I will definitely use all of those baits. And uh, I thought this was a good box. So now we're going to move right on along to the uh, Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Let's see what we've got uh, in their box. Right off the bat, we have the uh, Realis Spin Duo. I've... Uh, Never heard of this, never seen them, but it is a very cool looking little spinner top bait. Very anxious to uh, try it out. It retails for $11.99 and I double checked and they are available on a type of warehouse for the uh, same price, $11.99. Next, we have the uh, Strike Pro Beakster. And this is an interesting uh, bait. It's got a different uh, style bill. I don't know if this is coming in very well on the camera. Definitely uh, 
looking forward to uh, trying this one out. I've never heard of this brand. It uh, retails for uh, $9.99, and I actually checked uh, Shop Carl's, and uh, they have them uh, there for $10.99. And uh, I actually did do a little research because I, I thought the hooks on these, they were awful sharp and they looked like very good hooks. And apparently this company uses uh, owner hooks. So uh, that's always a bonus. I, I know a lot of people, uh, they'll buy their crankbaits and they'll always uh, switch out uh, their crankbaits to an owner ST. I believe it's 36 is what most people use. And I thought that was pretty cool on that one. It comes with owner hooks. So that was a positive. Next, we've got the Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait. I've got this one before. I believe it was a Monster Bass box that I've uh, got one of these uh, from in the past. And I mean, it's... Haven't fished with it much. Uh, it's a... Uh, interesting swim bait and I'm, I'm sure it's good decently sharp hook and these retail for uh, $8.29 and I actually checked Tackle Warehouse and you can get these at Tackle Warehouse for uh, $7.49 next we have the uh, Liquid Mayhem Thrust Minnow. I like this color, it's sunfish. And uh, obviously, I'm going to say the majority of us uh, definitely could use any type of swim bait like this. Put a jig head on it, uh, chatter bait, uh, trailer, jig trailer, swimming jig uh, trailer. And it also comes with the uh, liquid mayhem, their little sweet sauce. And uh, I've got a free container of this before, and I'm not too crazy because it will stain red if it's the same kind that I've had in the past. And yeah, I believe it is. It, uh, I'm sure it works, but just a side note on the mayhem attractant it does stain and this bag retails for $7.49 and I uh, checked the uh, shop Carl's and they had it there as well for $7.49 next up we got the Guggen Squad Zinger spinner bait this is a uh, looking forward to trying this out this is a good looking uh, Spinner bait, and one of the things that I've noticed right off the bat that I like about this spinner bait is if you'll look up at the line tie, it's got like a little O-ring to keep your line from going down. Which I've used rubber band wire ties in the past, but I thought that was a nice little addition that they didn't have to do a little added value good sharp hook and uh, looking forward to trying this one out it retails for $6.49 and I checked that on Tackle Warehouse and there it is $6.49 as well next up on the list we got Weston Stick Worm these are some good looking Cinco type baits Kind of a June bug color. Looking forward to uh, trying those out. They retail for $5.99, and uh, I checked the Tackle Warehouse, and that's what they are there as well $5.99. Next up is Dynamic Lures Sneak Attack swim jig 
again, this is something that I will probably uh, get some use out of. And uh, I like it that it comes with two jig heads and four soft bodies. So that's uh, interesting and I'm sure I will definitely get some use out of those. They retail for $5.25 and I checked Shop Carl's, they had them for $5.95. Then next, we have Carl's Amazing Bait Kicker Crawl. Probably use these as a uh, jig trailer. They've got a nice little flap, little edge on the flappers there. I'm sure that'll be some uh, pretty good action on a swim jig. Looking forward to trying those out. And uh, they retail for $3.99 and at Shop Carl's, that's, they were $3.99. And last, we have the Guggen Squad Heavy Hammer Hooks. And not much to say about these, just your ordinary offset uh, worm hook. They retail for $2, and I checked uh, Shop Carl's, and that's what you could get them for there. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up. For this month but first let's kind of dive into uh, which box do we think was the uh, better value uh, this month and again I'm gonna have all this information uh, I've taken a screenshot of it and I'll have it on either left or right side and uh, so you can see all this information I'm just trying to uh, Put all this information out here be as uh, honest and forthcoming as I can be uh, like I've said previously I have no affiliation with either of these companies and uh, I kind of just want to keep them honest so it's uh, basically this month which is December the date that I received each box Mystery Tackle Box uh, blew Monster Bass out of the water this month when it comes to that. I received this box December the 5th. Monster Bass, on the other hand, December the 22nd. So, again, just strictly by the numbers and I know everybody's location is going to vary on when you get your boxes but uh, both boxes ship at the same time so winner in that category definitely a uh, mystery tackle box the value in each box this month, uh, the value of the baits in the Monster uh, Bass Box were $49.25. The box cost me $34.95. So a return on investment of $14.30. The Mystery Tackle Box Elite had a total value of the baits in this box of $61.48. The box cost $32.48 for a return on investment of $29. So basically doubled what I got on the return from the Monster Bass box. And uh, being as fair and honest as I, I can, that is, with me, I got the Mystery Tackle Box this month, or this year, during the Black Friday sale, 20% off. 
So it's the return on investment is going to be a lot better for me and other people that have got the boxes during that time. So just to be fair, I'm doing a comparison. If you paid full retail price for the Mystery Tackle Box Elite, which is $40, if you did that, your return on investment is still $21.48 versus $14.30 for Monster Bass. So still, even at full retail price, uh, if you... If you're looking at these boxes strictly on the best bang for your buck, Mystery Tackle Box, hands down, wins. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this month. Uh, I've already shot the video for January, the unboxings for each one. And uh, I just got to do the comparison video, so look for that hopefully uh, one day this week. And again, guys, if you would like to see me do anything different, add something, something that I'm not seeing, uh, something that you would like to see, please uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I want this to be a regular monthly thing, and I would like to get some interactions. And this is not going to be uh, bashing one company or the other. It's just... I would like to look at it as just if someone's interested in getting one of these boxes and wants to see some uh, honest feedback and opinions on what you get uh, for your money each month to kind of come check these videos out and uh, make that decision on your own. And again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. If you like this kind of content, again, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below uh, and until next time guys keep those lines tight